Hello everyone, it's Anna here. Today I have a new album to show you. It's uh, built up the same way as my last mini on my last video. And uh, for this I used mostly the proper gentleman from Graphic 45 and also some other series. I think I have all of the series from Graphic 45. I love these papers. So this is the front and this is my father as a little boy and his life has been all about cars. He did, uh, drew uh, car racing as a young and uh, his whole life he has worked with cars. So this is dedicated to him. And here is my binding and I used MFT felt my favorite things and uh, these letters are from um, uh, they are typewriting letters from Graphic 45 and these letters I cut it with my AccuCut die and I bind it like this with some charms on with some gears and I didn't have a car gear, so I have to find that to put on. And a car charm. So it opens like this. And here is the first page. Uh, my father didn't want me to show the pictures, but uh, in the front and when he was small, it was okay. So I put them in later when I showed you the mini. So here is the first photo mat. I also, you see, I look, uh, used some um, Le Romantique papers and I cut out the hat here and created the pocket. And if you see here, here is a tag. And I cut out the hat in the top so it fits on his head and this opens. And it's a magnet behind. And here is a tag, place for more photos. One more tag. This is he's holding it. And it opens like this. Another tag. I think I put it down. See it better then. And a postcard. One more photo mat. Place for more photos. And this pulls out. This was supposed to go on the other side. And in the end of this video I will make a short tutorial how I built up this album and how I did the binding with the felt. This opens and it's also a slider. Card. And you can place a picture behind. Another photo mat. Some small tags.
this flips open. Place a photo here. It opens like this. Some small bags here as well. And you can journal. This flips down. Another photo mat with some tags. And behind, big photo mat. Here I cut out some clocks. And I crackle accent them. Small cutout from the paper. Small cutouts. More places for pictures. Next page, some small tags, and this is a pocket, another pocket, and it opens. And this doesn't open, I think. Oh yes it does. Another photo mat. This flips out like this. Two small tags. A larger one. This uh, album takes a lot of paper. But if you are new in scrapbooking, it's uh, very easy to make and um, it doesn't require a lot of uh, supplies. And I had to take Mon Monaco inside because he did a car racing there. Here's a flip. You can place a photo behind here. Here's a postcard. Another photo mat. This opens this way and it opens this way. Some card tags inside here. 
in place for photo. The same here. And this flips out. Here I have a magnet closer. More tags. And photo mat inside here. So. Hmm. Open this way first. More tags. And place the photo here. This opens. And a postcard inside. You can flip it out. Another photo mat. And this is the last page. I can't wait to fill this up with photos. I think that will be very fun. This is the back of the book. And if you see here, it's a lot of photo mats and tags, so you don't have to put all inside if you don't want to. But you can build the pages um, uh, as you like and put as many photo mats and tags inside as you want to. I'm now going to show you how I made the page and the binding. I first show you what you need. Uh, this album is very good to use 6x6 six six paper pads, but I also use the 12x12 12 and 12, um, cut them up. Some glue, used em envelopes. And I use this McGill punch to create the flaps. And this is the MFT felt. And I'll show you how I made this later. I need a scissor and uh, tape. I like most of score tape, but uh, I'm out of it, so I had to use this one. And I used uh, 12 by 12 black sheets, but you also can use other papers. And this one. This is a great tool. I use it a lot. First I give you a quick tip. If you are going to 